Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I am going to tell you guys the process in painting a white room. Girl. It was, honestly, it was a lot. So, before I get started into this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay guys, so the process in painting a white room, let me tell you. You have to have the patience, the patience to paint a white room. Now, because white is a pretty sheer-ish color, you, I had to paint my room three to four times just to make sure that it wasn't splotchy, that it wasn't patchy, that everything ended up pretty even. Like I could even see a little bit now that I could see some um, areas that I had missed, but girl, I am not going through that again. No, 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 no. So, so it looks really, really, really good, but just because I painted it, I could see areas where I could have perfected a little bit more. But as I said, just because this is not really my place, I didn't want to invest too much time into painting um, and making sure it was perfect. So, I did my best it looks it actually looks really 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 good but it was honestly a lot a lot of work to paint this room so the the mistakes that I was making when I was painting this room was using a dry rolling what are they called like the rolling paint brushes um, instead of a damp one now if you think about it I had to actually google on how to properly paint a white room or paint a room just so I could know where to go going forward because the first coat was pretty easy it was just like a kind of like a rough rundown of the wall kind of kind of kind of getting it pretty just kind of getting the paint on the entire wall i was being really cheap and was trying to cheap out on buying a third can of the paint that I purchased. So I found paint that I had sitting under my sink for like years. It's just been rolling around with us for many, many years. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this paint. Now, it was from the brand Bear, and it was just a white paint. It was a white paint, and I just painted the wall with it because I was just like, I'm trying to save on paint. And when I did the first coat, it was fine. It was like, okay, cool, this is fine. But then when I went in with the second coat on the wall, I noticed that it wasn't white. Um, I think that's because the paint was just really old. It's just been sitting there that it kind of loses its color. It started turning more into an eggshell color and I was getting really, really disappointed. So I stopped painting that first wall and I moved on to the newer paints that I bought. Even with that, I noticed that the paint wasn't applying as evenly, it was starting to look blotchy, and me and my mom came to the conclusion that it was because we were using two different brands of paint, that it just wasn't maybe adhering the Premier, the paint that I bought, the Premier paint wasn't adhering to the bare paint. Um, so it was just making it very hard to paint. Every time I would try to go over, it would like skip or it would get um, blotchy or it would just not stick to the wall. So I was having a lot of difficulties with that. So I ended up watching a video on what to do, how to paint, all that kind of stuff. And they say, make sure that your paintbrushes are damp, which makes all the most sense. Like if you think about makeup, it's actually the same concept because when you, you don't use a dry beauty blender on your face, you use a wet beauty blender or a damp beauty blender on your face so it distribu distributes the product evenly and nicely. Same with painting. So make sure when you're painting that your paint brushes um, are damp because you will get a more even application and it will just make the painting process so much easier. So when we had moved on to the third and fourth coat, that's what I started doing, and it made the painting application so much better, so much easier. It just went, like it just, the paint process just went so fast. And another mistake that I made in painting was that the first two times was that I was painting like up and down, like going up and down, up and down, up and down. The best way to paint is going like in different directions. So going up and down and left and right and side and this and what, that makes the paint apply a lot more evenly. And 
that's what I started doing with a damn paintbrush. The paint started applying a lot more easily. This wall was my problem wall, and once I started doing the damp the damp paint brush idea and also doing the wall in different directions i painted this wall probably in like 15 20 minutes like it got done so quickly so evenly except for a few little splotches that i see over there but other than that it went by really 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 quickly so that's kind of my advice on it like i would say to definitely do a little bit of research on how to paint whether it's a white wall or not just to make sure that you're not taking up more time than you need to and that's what I did I took up way too much time that I needed to don't cheap out on your paints don't use two different brands of paint because it may not stick it may not work well just like using a found sometimes using foundation and using a different concealer they just don't work together so it's kind of the same concept. Yeah, it just, the painting process just ended up going really, going by really um, easily. When I was going doing my last coat the next day, um, they, when I looked on YouTube, it suggested that I put my paint brushes in the fridge. I guess so that it doesn't dry out um, and it still kind of holds that moisture a little bit. And I did that and it made a world of a difference. Oh my god, like it tells you to wrap it in like a plastic bag or something, put it in the fridge, and then once you, when you're ready to go back to paint the next day, you take it out, and you put it in the paint, and you do the walls, and it just like, it just makes the painting process so much easier. Also too, I was finding that I was getting a lot of like splashbacks, so like a lot of paint, I was getting paint on my face, and my hair, on my hands. To avoid doing that, or to avoid that, make sure that you do your strokes slowly at first to make sure you get the paint on the walls and then you can pick up the speed a little bit um, so that you can avoid having all that paint splash back on your hands and your face and all of that stuff um, but also to just make sure you wear raggedy clothes don't wear your nice clothes to go paint because paint does not come off clothes it comes off skin um, because paint is water-based so it will come off your skin but it will not come off your clothes so just make sure you wear like really old clothes when you're painting um, just so that you know you don't have to be upset when your nice shirt or pants gets ruined so once I let the paint dry um, the final coat I let it dry for 24 hours like a full day and a bit just to make sure that it was stuck on there it was dry that I was gonna have any other issues but I found that like I even as I was painting the walls were drying so like I could have even gone back in that same night and did the last coat so I wouldn't have to worry about it but I was tired I was just like no I'm going to bed I will do this in the morning um and then that's kind of like what I did honestly I painted every night when I came home from work which was at like 9 30 10 o'clock and I painted for like two to three hours went to bed did it the same thing the night the next night um, and then I had my girlfriend to help me the last night so that made it a lot easier make sure you have someone that can help you um, it makes the process a lot a lot easier I know that there's some people who love painting and love doing it by themselves so if you're like one of those people by all means go ahead paint but um, it did make the painting process go a lot easily just make sure that when you are painting a white wall that you're using the same brand of paint don't cheap out as i said don't use one brand here one brand here to make your good paint or the paint that you paid for last just invest in the two or three cans that you might need and then move on from there i don't know if you could return cans of paints that you don't use um but after i used the bare paint i went in with the paint that i bought and i used a can and a half for the second was it the, yeah the second the third and the fourth coat i use a can and a half so and i thought i was going to need more paint just because this room is pretty big and has a lot of edges and divots and kind of things in it but nope a can and a half went a long way and also with the steps that i learned like the damp paint brushes the painting in different directions it made the painting process a lot easier and I didn't need to use as much paint when I was painting my room so yeah guys that's it um, on my painting process what I've learned from the painting process if you guys have any questions anything that you guys want to know anything leave it in the description I will be sure to answer them for you however if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys